everyone welcome to my channel Jamie Fran colors and today is the last day of our Hannah Carlson marathon of 2021 we might have to make this a yearly thing I don't know if I ever want to get through those books <sighs> anyways we are working on this beautiful picture in Tilsman Tilsman I still don't know how to say it I apologize um Yes, we colored her with the Arteza watercolor pencil is what we have been using. And yes, we're going to work on this some more. I'm so very excited. You guys, I got a new camera with a new mic. And yes, so there's always... A learning curve when you get new things so I hope you guys are patient with me and that I can figure things out and make it nice and make it work but there may be some hiccups along the way so just so you're aware and I also ripped off a couple of my nails and it was bad it was a bad moment and so I have to let them kind of like dry like the skin and everything before I put a new nail on them. So <laughs> yeah, I was cleaning and ripped them off. I got a little too vigorous. So we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so how many times am I gonna say so in this intro and it's not gonna go anywhere. I've spent the last couple of days editing and the thing is when you edit videos and you're editing a video of yourself you realize all of the things that you say and the tone of voice you use and where you put your like emphasis on different syllables and how I like always go up at the end of every word or phrase it's so annoying and I am sorry <laughs> don't know what to do about it okay 35 years old. I've been talking since I was two. I don't know how to change it. <clears throat> okay, I also have these Karen Dosh Museum aquarelles that I think we need to use on this picture as well. So we might pull some from here as well. All right. Righty. Righty, righty. for lips. Should I add this in there? Maybe. Okay, let's try it. But look what this camera can do that my other one couldn't. Are you guys so excited? Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this because <laughs> I was pretty much blown away. So here we go. Okay, so this is the Museum Aquarelle. Do, 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 do. Come on. Oh, don't let me down now. We practiced this. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> and this is, where's the name? Isn't there a name on here? Oh, there it is. Light Cadmium Red. Oh yeah. How nice is that? I'm so excited. Okay, now you gotta go back. Thank you. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. <laughs> so this is the light cadmium red. Let's put a little of this in there. Feels very nice and creamy as well as the um, Arteza. Yes. Oh, I did want to say thank you for all of the new subscribers that have come in recently. I'm very excited to have you here. Um, yeah, we gained, you know, a good 
number from our collab with Corey and I'm just I'm just very grateful that's very kind of you to subscribe over here I haven't done the best at promoting my channel and it hasn't grown very fast and so I'm just grateful for anyone who does subscribe it means a lot to me and we are almost at 2,000, and I think that when we make 2,000, I've got some good stuff that we could give away. So get those numbers to 2,000, and we will definitely do a giveaway. Okay, so see if this works a little better. Come on, it might be. Oh, okay, so this is the Arteza, and this is Coral E46. some of that in there too. And then for our lightest color, we're going to do the anathroquin pink and that Why do they make these words so hard? Anthroquinode pink. Okay, probably because they're not American. They're more, so <laughs> more sophisticated than us Western Americans. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, I have a little water here. Let's see what we can do with these lips. Let's see if we can make them juicy. And I hope that um, if you learned about Corey from my channel or um, Colorfully Optimistic from my channel that you did go and subscribe to her channel as well. She's got a lot of good stuff going on over there. She's more on top of it than I am. And uh, yes, though I am trying to do better. If you, I, I am trying, um, picking up my game. But um, I noticed that she's doing like tutorials on ink tents. I need to get over there and watch those because, yeah, I'm, I struggle with these watercolor mediums. So I need to go see what she's got going on. Okay. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. And then for the other mouth, let's see. I need to pick up the pacer. We're going to be here all night. Mm, I know, I know. Okay, let's take this apricot. Are you going to, there we go. So this is apricot. It is, do these have a number? Maybe they don't, oh yes they do, it's down here. So 3510041. I want her to have a pretty light, Lippies, I think. We'll put some good color in there. Ooh, that's more yellow than I thought it was going to be. Let's grab some of the... Oh, this is apricot as well. Okay, so this is apricot in the Arteza. Will it do it down here? Yeah. Okay, so we'll put some of that in there too. Just kind of putting it in the middle, I think. And then maybe let's take a little bit of the vermilion. On the corners a little bit. And then we'll see if we can kind of blend and make it work. Yeah. OK. 
Okay, so we'll grab our right. We are gonna go back over with some pencils because I just I just don't know how to get the fine details. Maybe we just have to go over it a few times, but um yeah. I'm just not that good. Okay. I kind of want to do gel pen on all of that kind of stuff or even paint. So let's move down to our our winged friend down here. So we kind of have a yellow, orange, pink thing going on. We do have a little blue here. We could bring a little blue down here. Let's do that by taking the Egyptian blue. That's the darker color that we used in her eyes. And let's bring it down on these wings. And I'm gonna just scribble. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. Should be, oh yeah, look how smooth that is too. Beautiful, all right. We don't get that clicky sound either. Okay. So we'll put in this Egyptian blue. And then let's take the periwinkle blue as well and we'll I'm trying to scribble these in kind of fast and messy so that we see how like we can blend it out with the um, paintbrush. Okay, let's get some water. So I have some water here and a cloth. So let's, so I dip my paintbrush in the water, but then I take off any of the extra wetness. I don't want it to drip or anything. I take it off with the, with the cloth. Just because we are working on paper that's not taped down or anything. I don't want to saturate my paper to where it will buckle. that dry I'm gonna grab the greens that we used for our blondies hair eyes and I want to bring it down here as well so I'm gonna take the olive green I just want to use those colors somewhere else incorporate them somewhere else so Sounds like someone is out of bed. Oh, I was gonna tell you guys about that. So I had this, I'm a horrible mommy moment <laughs> yesterday, which is why I broke a nail too. Cause I, uh, when I'm stressed or have extra anxiety, I clean vigorously. Cause it's like something I can control, you know? Maybe you don't know. <laughs> this is, yeah, it's either that or like eat an entire bag of potato chips. So, you know, I clean. So, okay, this is the pear green. So anyways, I was getting dinner for my boys last night and 
I realized that my bag of melatonin gummies that I take at night was on the cupboard and that it was open and then I got looking at it and it was supposed to be like a practically new bag and it very much was not a new bag anymore and uh There were like 37 gummies missing. And so I, I start asking my kids, you know, did, who ate these? Did you eat these? And Curly, who is very honest, um, I think autism, just at least with him, just doesn't lend itself to lying. He's a very honest, honest guy. <laughs> and he tells me that he ate them. Yeah, he ate them. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, how is he not like passed out on the ground somewhere? Like he ingested about, I did the math. He ingested about 111 milligrams of melatonin. And, and a, like the max dose that you're supposed to take at a time is like 10 milligrams. So he's had 10 times the amount. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm calling my husband who is a pharmacist and knows more about this kind of stuff than I do. And he won't answer the phone because he's at work and he's at, he's um, helping at a very busy store. But I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know, like he's jumping around acting normal. He's acting fine. But I don't know if I dare put him to bed because he's had so much melatonin that what if he falls asleep and he doesn't wake up again? Like, I'm just beside myself like I and he just thinks the whole thing's funny because he just doesn't he has no fear it's another another trait of autism there for you no fear it's it's a fabulous trait um <laughs> so yeah I I find I like just decide that I'm just gonna keep redialing him until he answers the phone all right, we're gonna grab, this is Crimson Aubergine, sorry. Moved, can you see that? Come on, I don't think the camera likes that it's shiny on these pencils. It likes, it's showing the Arteza better. There we go, Crimson Aubergine, Aubergine. Anyways, so yeah, so I just keep redialing while I like get them ready for bed and you know do all that dinner and bed and all that stuff and so finally he answers the phone and I'm like I I don't even I, I just I I know he's gonna give me some excuse like I'm he's busy or whatever and I just don't even give him a chance I'm like I don't care how busy you are your son has ingested around 37 <laughs> melatonin gummies and I don't know what to do if I can let him go to bed light cadmium in red so he had given the number for poison control to someone else that evening just a couple hours before another patient of his so he knew the number off the top of his head so he's like I'll call you back so he calls poison control and tells him what had happened and they said it's actually very common because they're gummies. Like, he loves fruit snacks. That's one of the treats that he will eat. He doesn't like chocolate. He really doesn't like candy. But he loves gummies. Like, he eats um, gummy bears and fruit snacks. 034, Arteza, apricot. And so, like, it totally makes sense. And they said that it's very common that this happens all the time. Kids eat 
like a whole bag of vitamins or something because they're gummies. So, like, I felt a little bit better, but, you know, I still feel like a horrible mom. For one thing, like, these things never happen when my husband's home. <laughs> but, of course, then there's two parents at home and, you know, children aren't left to their own devices because I can only be in one place at a time, you know? So, anyways... They said he could go to bed, so I put him to bed, and then they called back um, around a couple hours later, and we went and woke him up, make sure he was, you know, he was okay, lucid, and could wake up and everything. And he was fine. Like, it didn't, it never even acted like it affected him. It was crazy. Like, he didn't act any different than he did any other night. Like, he was still bouncing around, jumping around. And then this morning, he just popped up like a daisy, like he always does. And I was like, oh my gosh, child. So another trait of autism that a lot of kids have, I mean, everything with autism is like an umbrella and you just have all these traits underneath. And <laughs> autism is just hard. Anyways, so, Another trait is that these kids don't sleep like before we put him on medication to get him to go to sleep He we were up with him At least seven times a night Since he was little like my sister-in-laws would be talking about when their babies started to sleep through the night and I was like babies <laughs> A seven-year-old still gets up seven times a night like me and my husband hadn't slept in seven years seven eight years until we decided to like put him on medication for sleep because one he was really struggling in school and two like me and my husband hadn't slept in seven years because <laughs> when you're up seven eight times a night that doesn't give you much sleep yeah so anyways so i don't know if just like because his body he doesn't sleep naturally like i don't know but it did not seem to affect him at all it was crazy and of course you know like any person would but it didn't make me feel good my husband was well like, how did he get them? Like, where were they? Were they in the cupboard? Were they locked? Like, were they put away? Were they in the cupboard? Well, I'm like, well, one, I don't know. And two, would it have mattered? Because he, Curly, is nine. He'll be ten in a couple months. And he is tall. He's going to be, like, 6'3 when he's fully grown, at least. He is a tall kid. He's only like a head shorter than I am. And I'm 5'7". I'm not short. So, like, he's going to be tall. And he's already tall. There's nowhere... Like, we used to, like, put stuff on top of the fridge or on the very top of the entertainment center. Like, stuff that we didn't want him to get into. Like, our house was just... It's been odd, though. For the last nine years because we would just have like strange things up high you know because then he couldn't get them but now he's tall enough to reach those places like he can get if i can reach it he can reach it and it kind of you know and it's always like this bit of anxiety in the back of the recesses of my brain of how I'm going to rate like how I'm going to take care of him as he gets bigger because and keep him safe when he's bigger than me but in some ways still a, t a toddler I mean in some things not everything but some things he acts younger than my six-year-old and so it was just a scary evening for me <laughs> and I didn't feel very good but I, you know we all make mistakes and we can't 
watch everything all the time and and I'm grateful that we have places like Poison Control that we can call and get help and guidance and what to do. You know, I just, and they're so nice. They're, if you've never had to call them, like kudos to you, have you raised children. <laughs> but they're so nice about things and like, letting you know that it's okay and things happen and you know and helping you make the decisions that you need to of whether or not they can go to bed or if you need to take them to the emergency room or you know I'm just grateful we have we have that so they were very nice they also called again this morning to make sure that everything was okay and that we were all right and uh, it's just I'm very grateful that we have we have those services okay this is the light cadmium red yeah see if we can get the rest of this these pencils down fairly quick kind of a base coat so that we can put in some other pencils or something on the top Okay, and then the anathrocnoid pink. I'm gonna put that blue in here as well, I think. I've gone all squampy. There we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, let's. I want a bigger brush, I think. I feel like that almost that brush is too flimsy or something. I don't know. Like, I need something that's stiffer, might pull the color a little better. I don't know. See how this one does. This is just a bigger size of the same kind. Alright, I'm getting to the end of <laughs> this. I've been quiet for a while and just sped up the video, but um, so we can get through it. Um, I am been planning what we're going to do next now that we're done with our little marathon. Um, and I have quite a little stack over here that I'm excited to get to. But please, if there is something that you want to color or something that you want to see me color or talk about or anything else, please leave it in the comments section down below because I really would love to do things that you guys want to see, you know, and that you want to learn about or hear about or I don't know, whatever. So please 
leave it in the comment section and I will I know somebody sorry I don't remember everybody's name when they say things let's see um, Yes, here we go. Laura, um, she wants to see some Ravencroft or some Jane Hankins. I have some Ravencroft, so I'm definitely, we will do that. Um, I don't, I'm going to have to look up Jane Hankins because I don't have anything by her, but I will definitely look her up. And, um, yeah, probably get some because if you're recommending her it, then it's probably amazing. She's probably amazing. And I should, I should definitely be looking into her. So, I will be doing that. This is cinnamon. I'm just picking up random colors that I have here in my pile from what we've done already. Ginger that's just how I roll back to the cinnamon and ginger yes yeah, so I have a lot of like PDF coloring books that I've gotten off of Etsy recently that I am excited to take a look at and yeah at least one actual coloring book new. I did color in it and for a minute while I was testing out my camera settings. But yeah, so we need to look at those. I'm excited about that. Let's put some yellow on these feathers that are left. So I'm grabbing the honey that we used in her hair. I kind of get to a point in a picture where I stop picking new colors and I just try to use the pencils that I already have. And I think I'm kind of to that point. In this picture, this is jasmine yellow. Um, and I'm going to add a little shading to that. There's some burnt ochre that I want to put in here. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday for me. So I'm also in the process, this picture, or not this picture, this video as well is pre-recorded. Um, but I'm, because I'm having PRK surgery, so I can see better. Um, yes. So I'm recovering from that as this video goes up. But I'm still looking at comments and stuff, so as long as I can see <laughs> um yeah but I don't know what my recovery will be like in terms of like being able to see well enough to color or any of that because I know that PRK is a little longer recovery than just LASIK so yeah so I'm doing that, but I, I'm trying to <laughs> pre-record stuff so you guys won't miss me. Not, yeah, you won't miss me. So I just have that heart outline, but I think maybe we'll do that with like a gel pen. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Let me, well, let me do these like leaves up here first. So we have the olive. OK, 
Okay, and then the pear. How are we doing on the autofocus camera? Are you being good? Okay, don't want any funny business. And then I'm going to grab just a little jasmine yellow as well. And then some water. Okay, you guys, I will be right back. Maybe. Okay. So I have grabbed one colored pencil because I don't want to do too much. I don't know. This is dark chocolate brown and it's an Arteza, but it is the, just the colored pencil rather than the watercolor pencil. So they come in the same um, colors, the regular and the, the watercolors. So the difference, just so you know, is this one is round and the watercolor one, it's not round. It's got the edges, the um, hexagon shape or whatever. Let's see. Yeah. So this is the watercolor one. See how it's got the edges? And then I think it also, yeah, it has a paintbrush right here where this one is round. Come on, you can do it. There we go. It's round and then it does not have the paintbrush right there. So. <clears throat> All right, so let's put this in for some darker shading in some places. And I just realized after I put all those pencils away that these girls don't have their eyebrows done. That's exciting. <laughs> well, I'll figure it out. It will just, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, these color right over the top of the watercolors beautifully. No issues. It's beautiful. Okay. I just kind of want those the darker shadows so that we have that contrast which helps make things kind of pop and come up. Bring this up this one side. There we go. You see just that little bit of shading just helps. I think it does anyways. Just helps make her come a little more alive. Then her counterpart over there, and let's put a little bit 
it here as well. There, we'll make her just kind of stylized. I like it. Okay, we'll do the seam over here. you're the fly guy my son has been reading fly guy oh this is the one that's okay okay so this is the ginger that we used before stick that on there I don't is that even okay here we go my lighting being weird. It's always something. Okay, and then let's do, mm, let's put some of that dark chocolate brown in there as well, just to stabilize it to her face. Okay, so she has eyebrows. Let's grab, oh, what color was that? Well, we had the coral, I remember that. And the, ver was it vermilion? Vermilion. Yeah, okay. So let's take our vermilion. And then we'll take the coral. And then I'm also going to take that dark brown. go okay perfect beautiful I love her love them let's put those aside I need something something that is black oh my gosh that's a tiny one no bigger there we go no oh, it's still pretty little but God, I put those pupils in there, driving me nuts. Can't believe we've lasted this long. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what we should do? Let's grab that dark brown again. She has some freckles on her face. Let's put them in with that dark brown. Oh, 
Oh, they look cute. They're more stylized than I usually do, but I like them. It's fun. Okay, let's do some gel pen. Um, okay, I'm going to take like this peachy kind of color. It's from the Metallics. It's 554. And I'm going to put it on this girl over here since she has the more pinky hair. Let's see, I'm going to put it And then the goal is not to set my hand on wet ink. That's always that's always my goal. <laughs> it very rarely happens that I don't stick my hand in wet paint or wet ink. My children probably wouldn't know who I was if I didn't have some form of art supply on my hands or face. That, I like that color. Look how pretty that kind of is there. Okay, we're also going to make the chain down here this color as well. And then kind of make the, maybe the background this color. All right, then we'll take the yellow gold. This is 551. And we'll do kind of the same thing over here. Okay, it is actually the next day. Um, yeah, so new camera, only one battery. I have another one on the way and my battery died last night and I couldn't, yeah, didn't have another one. So <laughs> we're all charged up. Um, my kids are out just watching um, DuckTales. They like to watch DuckTales in the evening after they're all ready for bed. So it kind of helps because the Youngest pretty much falls asleep on the couch and then he's not so defiant about going to bed. So they're doing that and I'm in here. So anyways, I am working with my gel pens. I am taking, this is number 519 of the metallic and it's kind of this pinky color and I am outlining the heart in this color because it's so pretty. And then I think I'm going to put this in the wings as well and maybe on some of their headband. So I did do the black with um, gesso. So yeah, I've done that several times in videos. So I didn't feel like it needed to be filmed. So yeah, we're going to put this right here on the wings. All right, so pretty. And then, yeah, let's bring this up here somewhere. 
let's see. Um, like we have like these. Um, this one too. And then we'll come down, well, let's do these as well. I just try to match my um, gel pen palette to the rest of my page so that I'm not really getting any new colors. Just, and yeah, I'm just using colors I've already got in the picture. It just turns out really nice. Um, maybe I won't even put pink on her. We'll see. We'll put that aside, but I don't think so. Um, I do love the pink on her though, so I just keep finding other places. Maybe we'll do all these like little tiny ones as well. It has been a day. It's like one of those days where I have barely sat down, just been running around doing a whole bunch of stuff, and yet I feel like I haven't accomplished anything. It's just that like every time you sit down, another child needs you, or the dog wants you, or it's been one of those days. So it's also payday. So I did do all the bills and I did order groceries and I did put all the groceries away. So I guess I did accomplish some things, but oh, it was a rough one today. It's nice to just sit down, and finish this picture up. Yes, I'm loving it. So pretty. Uh, maybe we'll do like these little dots as well. Do, do, do. Did you guys watch DuckTales when you were a kid? I did. Sometimes. I mean, we didn't have the Disney Channel all the time. It was like one of those things that they, it would like come on for a while and they'd get all the kids hooked on the shows and then if they wanted it, then they'd have to talk their parents into like buying the Disney Channel, but no way was my parents buying the Disney Channel. <laughs> and I don't blame them at all. Okay, let's grab the silver. This is 553, and this is what I want all the stars in. And I'm just trying to make sure I don't stick my hands in any ink, in any pen. But my grandpa lit, had the Disney Channel, so when we would visit him, we'd get to watch the Disney Channel too. But apparently, like now they've like redone DuckTales, like they have new episodes and stuff. It's crazy. I didn't realize that it was new. I mean, I I know they're watching DuckTales, but I'm not like sitting there watching it with them. <laughs> but I was one afternoon, and I was like, wait a minute. I recognized who the voice was. Um, it was David Tennant, and I could he, like, I was like, what? No, is he old enough to be on DuckTales? Like, I was like, no way, you know? And then I realized that these are new. Who knew? I didn't. I didn't know. And none of you care, I'm sure. <laughs> but I thought I'd share. Okay. Okay, let's grab the lighter blue. These are all in the metallic set. I think they're probably my favorite, probably. Yeah, definitely. I really don't care for the souffle ones, I've decided. Those are the ones that keep turning matte when they dry, so I'm trying to remind myself that. Don't pick the souffle ones unless you want it matte. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's cute. Okay. Okay. Then we have like this black or dark gray. I don't know, but it's a cool color. I like it. We're going to put some of that in here. Yeah, I'd say it's more gray than black. It's not very deep. But it looks nice. I like it. Okay. I want to put this yeah it's just such a nice color so I did put like some white um, gel pen on these dots because if you remember like we colored right over them so just to make the I didn't know what color of gel pen I'd be putting on I just put a little white so that it would pop Okay, then the last color I have sitting here, whoops, hang on. The last color I have sitting here is the dark blue. So we will take it. Goodness, my dog has been so needy today. She like wants me to go outside with her, but I'm busy taking care of everything. And so as soon as I let her out, she comes back in the doggy door and wants me to let her back out. And I'm like, no, just stay out if you want to be out. <laughs> and then it's Okay, fine. So she's like, fine, I won't go outside, but then you need to hold me. I'm like, I don't want to hold you. <laughs> I have stuff that needs to be done. I don't have time to just sit and hold the dog. I'm sorry. So she's out there with the boys, but I can hear her at my door. She's supposed to be out there with the boys. I thought she could cuddle with my oldest boy. He's not feeling very good tonight. Probably too much Roblox, you know. Too much. Too much Minecraft. Pokemon. It's probably the Pokemon. I don't know. So, <laughs> I thought maybe she could cuddle with him and that would make him feel better and she would get cuddled, but... I can hear her out there at my door. Mm, it's so pretty. I like them. They're more stylized than I usually do. They're not like perfectly blended and stuff, but I think they're just kind of fun. It was fun to work with a medium that I don't usually work with. Though, I was watching a video about uh, using, this was with ink, ink tents, about using an alcohol marker to blend the ink tents. So, 
We may have to try that, or I may have to try that. Maybe I'll try it, I don't know. I'll either try it first or I won't, but see if it works. So pretty, I love it. Okay, we just need, you know what, I'm gonna use the gold, I think. We'll see if it, oh yeah. Put the gold dots in here. So pretty, I love it. I love a black background, if you guys hadn't noticed. Goodness. so cute I love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking and commenting I love it so thank you so much um yeah if you guys have any suggestions for or requests for videos please leave them in the in the comments down below and um, yeah, things got changed around on me, so this has actually come out before the second part of my collab with Corey. So that is coming, and it will be um, on Monday. So you'll see part two of that on Monday, and then we'll do a recap of all our Hannah Carlson stuff, and then we'll start doing some other stuff. So I'm excited, and I hope you guys are too, and I hope you guys have an awesome week, weekend, find time to relax. Take some deep breaths, enjoy yourself, and throw some color around, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!